Hey Honors Physics, this is going to be a coverage of Castle Unit 3, Activity 5. As you see, I've got the activity guide printed out here on my kitchen table, and I've got the circuit set up and ready to go. Okay, what we're going to look at today is this focus question on how does the number of bulbs alongside each other or in branches um, you can kind of see it here. I had a misprint, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got that first bulb, and then we're going to add another bulb in a second branch. So we're essentially giving that charge a second and then a third path along which it can flow. So what we want to see is what is the effect on the total resistance going to be when we add these bulbs side by side or in branches. Yesterday we looked at the effect of adding them in a row or in series in that same single loop and we saw that adding multiple bulbs one after the other for those that charge to have to get pushed through that increased the overall resistance. Okay, so we want to know how is the charge flow and thereby the resistance going to change as we add more bulbs for the charge to flow through in these branches. Okay, we'll start out with the first one in circuit A. You'll see that my bulb is going to be pretty dang bright here. Okay, let me get this hooked on. You see my bulb is pretty bright and also importantly here you see that my compass is deflected at about 30 degrees which is pretty far i've only got the one bulb there and so a lot of charge can flow through the total resistance of this circuit is pretty small Okay, go ahead real quick, pause this video and make your predictions for what's going to happen when I add this second bulb in another branch and then this bulb in a third branch. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and connect them now. This one's not connected at all yet, but I'm going to go ahead and add it here. I'm going to disconnect my whole circuit actually first. And then I will connect this so that you see the wires are connected two in the same place there so that there's basically another wire for that charge to flow through and around. Okay. You see that the bulbs are actually still quite bright. Okay. This was with one bulb versus two. You see, there is a small change in that brightness, but they are pretty much the same brightness still. And they're the same brightness as each other. And we see now, if we look back over here, now that uh, compass deflection is like 35, almost 40 degrees, where before it was only about 20. Okay, I can add this third bulb then, which this would be circuit C. And we'll see what we observe there. Okay, again, we do see that brightness decrease very slightly, but they're still pretty much as bright as they should be. Okay, and if I come back down here again, this time we see the compass is pretty definitely at 40 degrees. And so we have seen Rather than adding the bulbs and seeing that total resistance increase, which would mean that our um, charge flow through this battery would be decreasing, we've actually seen the charge flow through the battery increase, which means that adding more bulbs in more branches has made the overall resistance of our circuit go down as opposed to up. So adding bulbs in branches like this, or in parallel, which you'll see that term in the notes, adding them like this actually makes the resistance go down. I think that that is about it for me today. 
Um, go ahead and make sure you take those observations down. Make sure you hit the notes, um, the notes slides that I have on Canvas. Take your picture of your notes and go ahead and send them in. Okay, see you tomorrow.